A little birdie told me you're still paying to make flyers like this. Well, not anymore. In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning flyers using Canva's free version. Quick, easy, and absolutely free. Let's dive in. To design your flyers, you will need an app called Canva. Open the app and this is the home page. Canva is a powerful design tool that allows you to create almost anything. Your YouTube thumbnails, company logos, flyers, business cards, price lists, and much more. This app already has some templates that you can use. All you need to do is simply type what you're looking for in the search bar and Canva will show you different template options. Some templates are free while others require a pro subscription to access. If you prefer to create your design from scratch like me, click create design. You will see different size options for your Instagram stories, logos, Facebook posts, YouTube thumbnails and more. Each option already has the correct dimensions. Since I'm posting this flyer on Instagram, I'll select Instagram post, which opens a blank canvas in the right ratio. The first step is to set the background of your flyer. If you select color, you see different solid colors that you can choose from. You can just move right or left and, you know, pick whatever color that you want. Canva also has background images available. To access them, click on element, slide left and select background. Some backgrounds here are free while others are pro. So you can choose a free one if you don't want to pay for the app. And you can also download backgrounds from Google and just import to the app. Once you select a background, it will appear on the blank canvas. All you need to do is simply drag it to fit in the box. Another option is using gradient colors as your background. You can select gradient, choose any two colors and experiment with different styles. For this flyer, I have chosen this gradient color combination and this style, and this is how it looks so far. Next, I'll import the pictures I'll be using for the flyer. Before using any picture for your flyer, your business card, whatever it is that you're designing, you need to remove the background of the picture. I'll show you three ways that you can do this. To remove a picture's background, open the CapCut app and select Remove Background. Choose the image you want, select Next and let the app do its magic. Keep in mind that this feature is only available in the CapCut Pro version. Once the background is removed, export the image. Another way to remove a background is through a website. Just go to Google and search background remover. Click on the first results, upload your image, wait for it to process. And then when it's done processing, click download. Make sure to select free download because the max quality option requires payment. The downside of this is that the image will not be as sharp. So let's compare. This image was edited with CapCut and this one with the remove.bg website. You can see that the CapCut version is sharper, but don't worry, you can enhance your image using an app I'll show you later in the video. Another option is using your iPhone. Open the image, long press it, then drag and drop it at the end of your gallery. It will save as a new image with the background removed. However, the catch is that it replaces the background with either white or black. So you can place it on a colored background. For example, with this image, I'll need to use a black background for the flyer so that it can blend seamlessly. If I use a colored background, you will see that the black box will still be showing. I've given you two other methods to remove background of your picture in case you don't want to pay for CapCut Pro. So let's move on. To import the pictures, click camera roll and select the pictures that you have already removed the background, then click add to page. I'm using two pictures for this flyer. Once the pictures are added, resize and position them however you like. For now, I'll leave these ones like this and move on to the next step, which is adding text. To add text to your flyer, click text, then select add a heading. Now, I'll type in the main title of the flyer. Let's assume this flyer is for a makeup masterclass that's coming up. 
I'll then type masterclass. Next, I'll customize the text. Click fonts and you can choose from different font styles. Some of these fonts are free and some you have to pay for the pro version to access them. You can just play around and pick the perfect font for whatever it is that you're designing. Just click on different fonts and see whichever one that you like. Next, click color and select a color of your choice. You can also click here, select this color picker and drag it to pick any color from your picture or your background. You can see that the circle is changing as I'm moving it. I'll select the color from my head tie and I'll click done. You can see that the text is now the same color as the head tie. All you need to do next is to resize your text and adjust the letter spacings until it looks just right. Now I'll go back to text and click add a subheading. Here I'll type whatever it is that I need to type. Since this is like a makeup flyer, I'm just going to put something like suitable for beginners and upgrade. I'll then change the color to black. I'll adjust the font, reduce the size and position it where I want. If I want to make the text bold, I'll click on this. Then select this letter B to make your text appear bold. I'll repeat the process to add other text elements, you know, changing the font, adjusting the size and positioning them where needed. Next, I'll add my company logo to the upper left side of the flyer. After importing the logo, I noticed that it blends too much into the background. So to fix this, I'll click elements. I'll go to shapes and select a shape to place behind the logo. I'll resize the shape and change the color to make the logo stand out. Since the shape is now covering the logo, I'll need to send the shape to the back and move the logo forward. To do this, I'll come here, slide to the left and click position, then select backward to send the shape behind the logo. Now I'll resize both the logo and the shape until I'm satisfied with how it looks. I decided to change the color to black for better contrast. Now I'll go back to shapes and select another shape. I'll make it bigger because I'll be adding some important details inside the box. Once I'm happy with the size, I'll change the color. Next, I'll go to text and start adding the remaining text details. The process is the same. Type the text, choose a font, adjust the size, change the color and position it where you want. You don't have to follow my exact steps. Just play around with the app and be creative. But remember that we're using the free version. So you want to make sure that whatever you're clicking does not have the pro sign. You know the cost. Still you go through walls. Keep on acting small. Even if you got something left to lose. Even if there is something left for you to prove. I got better taste of Now that I'm done adding all my text, I'll make some final adjustments to the pictures and I'll reposition everything. Bad, I'm so sorry about the 
Once you're satisfied with your design, click export to save your flyer. To enhance your flyer, make sure you have Lightroom Mobile installed on your phone. I use this app for all my pictures. It helps adjust colors, balance lighting, refine skin tones and more. If you like a tutorial on how to use this app, please let me know in the comment section. First, import the flyer into Lightroom. If you click auto, the app will automatically enhance your image. I'll start by clicking color, then selecting color mix. Here I'll adjust the saturation of the key colors on the flyer, yellow, pink, and orange for the skin tone. Once I'm done, I'll go to detail to sharpen the image. Then I'll go to light to adjust the shadows. That's all I need for this particular flyer. For context, here is a quick before and after. Once you're satisfied, export your image and this is the final result. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.